Good evening. Today I wanted to show you how to hang a Christmas wreath. That's right. This is a 60 inch wreath. Actually, it's only half of it. The other half's over there. Um, on vinyl siding or stucco. Brick is a little bit different, but vinyl siding and stucco, this is how you want to hang a Christmas wreath on vinyl siding or stucco. Some tools you need, you need a drill. Don't matter, you need a, don't matter what kind of drill it is, you need a drill. And the other material you'll need are some um, screws. These are two and a half inch screws. Um, I like these because that way I know that it's gonna hold either the 60 or the, or the 48 inch wreath, no problem without it falling down. We don't want the wreath to fall down. So that is the thing. We use this green wire. I'm gonna put a, I'll put a picture in right here. This green wire is how we attach the wreath to the screw and hold the wreath up there. So I'm gonna give you a little building construction first and then we'll get up on the ladder and we will hang the wreath. So when we are building, when we are um, putting a wreath up, we want to get our screw all the way up into that top corner, right there. And this is rather you're hanging it in vinyl, on vinyl siding, or if you're hanging it on stucco. The reason why we don't want to put it down below here is, is we don't know what's behind there. It could be plywood, it could be anything. It could be that um, vinyl or um, foam board, any of that stuff. You don't know what's in behind there. It could be a piece of particle board. And a piece of particle board is not really going to hold that. But when they're building this house right here, they put a nice piece of wood going down both sides here. So that's why we want to get that up there in that top piece slat of vinyl siding. Reason why we want to do it in stucco is, is we don't want moisture getting down in the back side of that wall. Moisture in the back of stucco will hurt a stucco house that will actually damage the stucco. Um, so anytime we're hanging a wreath of 60 inch, 48, and we're on vinyl siding or stucco, we always want to go up top. Now we can drop it down with um, that green wire I showed you, and we can put it wherever we want to be at. But with this house here, in any other house with vinyl siding or stucco, you want to be all the way up into that piece. So the other thing you want to make sure you got is a ladder on stable ground. If we're putting the ladder up, make sure we're checking for overhead wires and make sure if we're going to put it on the vinyl, make sure we got the little feet that's over here. Um, for your ladder. I'll have everything you need in the description below. Um, all the links will be down there. But make sure you got the little feet on there if you're going up against there on the vinyl. We don't want to damage any of that stuff. So we want to make sure our ladder is on stable ground and um, it's not going to fall over. Most of the time I don't use an A-frame. We use just a 24 foot extension cord or extension cord, 24 foot or actually it's a 28 foot ladder extension ladder. But today with the, doing this video I wanted the A-frame so that way I can show you better. So we're up here at the top. There's already some holes in this siding and we had a light here. I'm actually replacing it. That's why I'm doing this video so I can do that while I'm here. Right here is where you want to go in. Up there high enough that you can get your screw in but low enough that or low enough you can get your screw in but high all the way up. So all right so we're going to take our drill. We're going to take our two and a half inch screw put it in there like so. We're going to get it started there. Actually I'll do a new hole. On a hammer drill, we'll take it off a hammer drill. Now, we went all the way in. Actually, we didn't go all the way in. So, we want to leave a little bit out right here. So that wire can go up around there. But we don't want to leave too much out because when we're done, we're going to leave that screw in there. And if we do it up high here, you won't be able to, I mean, it's very hard to see that screw up there. And if you did it down here in the middle on vinyl siding, it's very easy to see. So that's why 
we do it on aluminum side or on uh, even aluminum siding, um, vinyl siding, anything like that. We're gonna go right up in there so that way it's gonna hide it when it's all said and done, when we're done for the end of the year. So we got our screw in. What we're gonna do is here, we're gonna loop this over. We'll check, make sure we're above the door, over the window, everything we wanna be. And then all we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take that little, we usually I have a longer piece than this, and you're just gonna go around it twice. And if you can, you want to leave a little bit of a loop in there. You're gonna you're gonna go around one more time. I couldn't get around because I didn't have long enough. And you want to leave a little bit of a loop in there. And what that's for is, at the end of the season, we got a Mr. Long Arm with a paint hook. We can reach that hook in there and we can unhook that without getting our ladder back out. And that way, we can take everything down from the ground and not have to climb back up our ladder. So let me move my ladder so we can see our pretty wreath. So I moved my ladder and I wanted to show you the wreath once it's hung. Um, I could have dropped it a little bit. The way we run our cords, um, we actually run our, um, our lights up through there and that's where we would power our wreath it would be right at the top, right there into our, um, our C9s that we do along our roof. This is how you hang a wreath. Um, like I say, just be careful. Um, a lot of times you're up two stories um, that's that's why it's just be careful be safe and be careful um, but that's a that's a um, 48 probably couldn't have got a 50 60 up there 48 looked good up there normally we do like to put our our big 60s up here just because they look better they look pretty awesome here Let's see if I can get into they look they just look better during the daytime I mean our 48s look okay they don't look nothing like our 60s but again I'll have all the links down below um, if you have any questions about Christmas lights um, just ask away and I will get something up for you um, but again thanks for watching um, you can go over to my website it's Christmas lights training.com and I have all the information there. Um, I have a bunch of helpful resources and all kinds of stuff. So thank you and have a great day.